The beginning of the week is usually slow in the restaurant business, but this year everything seems like a Monday and a Tuesday. Now a good day is some outdoor tables and takeout. When you feel that nobody cares about you as an industry, it, it's it's very hard. It's very like uh, it's rough. With indoor dining closed and no outdoor area, three employees are left in the kitchen for takeout and delivery at Kings of Kobe on West 42nd Street by 11th Avenue in Manhattan. And we just need to try to push every day. We don't have a choice. Uh, I can't give up. I'm not going anywhere. The second federal stimulus passed by Congress Monday does include a larger amount of money for businesses, including restaurants, to cover costs and payroll. But it does not include a specific act called the Restaurants Act. It's like a butterfly bandage on a bullet wound. Like we're just bleeding out. Ivy Mix owns Landa on Smith Street in Carroll Gardens, Brooklyn. She's with the Independent Restaurant Coalition, which has been working with lawmakers since June to pass the $120 billion Restaurants Act. Because for the Restaurants Act, it's completely bipartisan, right? We had 218 members of the House support it, and we have 53 senators. So the fact that it's not just going in and being passed is so disappointing. The Restaurants Act would go to food and beverage businesses that aren't publicly traded and make smaller profits. It's meant to address that specific small business across the country, more than 500,000 places employing nearly 11 million workers. We must do all we can to save restaurants and I will not stop fighting until we pass the Restaurants Act into law. The details and the cost are always going to be items for discussion. One of the, the points here is uh, what would count uh, as a restaurant or bar. Uh, Congress is expected to continue to debate this. In the East Village, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.